Hi, I'm Prof. Johnny. Welcome to Goodwill Training and Assessment Center Incorporated. May kasabihan tayo na sa Diyos ang awa na sa tao ang gawa. So ano pa hinihintay natin? Tara na at gawa na tayo! This late machine was imported from Japan. Since it is a surplus, I need to recondition it so that it can be used again smoothly and will last a long time. Take a look at this. The backlash on each carriage handwheel is quite big. What is the cause of the backlash? Let's find it out. Wow, the pinion gear is worn out and each shaft is wobbling in the hole where it is rotating. What do you think between the pinion shaft and the hole is worn out? Let's check it again. The shaft is still good, but the hole is already worn out, causing the shaft to wobble while rotating. Again, what made the hole easily worn out? Take a look at this part of the shaft where it is directly contacting the hole while rotating. It is too short, causing the wall of the hole to easily wear out. So what am I going to do? I'm going to redesign both the shaft of the pinion and the hole of the carriage. I am going to make this part of the shaft longer, reboard the hole, and put a sleeve bearing with an equal length to the contacted part of the shaft. So have focus and watch me do this unusual task of repairing the carriage of the lake. Itong rack gear ay okay pa. Yung asawa ng pinion gear. Kaya, ang worn out talaga ay yung pinion. So ito ang talagang gagawin. Either uh, boring head pang rebore or direkta na ito end mill which is bigger than the hole. So paano natin sa sentro? So ito dapat sakto dito sa butas. Ayan. I will press the sleeve bushing onto the reboard hole in the carriage.
Mula rito hanggang dyan, ito yung contact or yung sliding part ng shaft na nire-design na natin. Dati hanggang dito lang. Here is now a newly machined pinion gear with a longer contacting part on each shaft and a sleeve bushing or sometimes it is called a plain bearing with an equal contacting part in the shaft. Take a look at the pinion gear. There's no more wobble. What would be the advantages of this new design? First. Both the shaft and the hole become rigid since their contact area is longer. Second, the hole where the pinion gear is rotating becomes repairable since the sleeve bearing can be removed and replaced with a new bushing. Now let's mount the carriage on the lathe. Now focus on the carriage hand wheel. There's now very minimal backlash. So again, there were two reasons that caused a big backlash to the carriage handwheel of the lathe. One was the pinion gear that was already worn out and the other one was the hole for the pinion gear shaft that was easily worn out due to improper design. Now you have seen how I redesigned the parts that are the main causes of this problem of the lathe which is much better than its original design. And now I can guarantee you that the machine will run smoothly and will last a long time. Lastly, after quite a long time that we met in my YouTube channel, I would like you to know that I'm not just a YouTuber. I also sell industrial machinery, just like what you see around me. So for those who are looking for a cheaper but excellently conditioned machines, please feel free to contact me at my cell phone numbers 0916-658-0548 or 0995-970-1342 or chat me in my YouTube channel. See you again! Thank you very much!